Hello guys and welcome back to another WoW video. In this video we're going to be talking about the Druids. So more specifically the Guardian Druid. So as you've seen in pretty much in some of my other videos, I've been playing Guardian Druid for quite a while. So what we're going to be doing in this one is I'm going to be telling you, well, I'm going to be teaching you basically the fundamentals of a Guardian Druid and also what stats to look out for, what's more important and also how to have fun essentially because let's face it that's why we play right so first off i want to talk about what is a guardian druid so for those who are new to the game and don't know what guardian druids are about a guardian druid is basically how can i put it it's basically the one taking all the damage the tank so essentially being a guardian druid your job is basically to stop your other members team members getting attacked or if you're in a raid stopping everyone else getting attacked other than the other tank so, the main things to look out for being a Guardian Druid is, in terms of stat-wise, is one, agility. So, as you can see on the screen there, this basically increases your dodge rate. So, no surprise. Isn't it? So, the more you dodge, the more you actually, like, not take damage and you can actually do more, like, protecting. So, um... My stats are a little bit messed up at the moment, but um, in terms of the other screen I'm going to switch over to in a minute, well, okay, so now we've got that sorted, basically what we're going to be doing now is I'm going to be throwing you, well, I'll be throwing ourselves into like the open world, so let's go for example, ooh, it's a major point. Uh, but yeah, I'll go to the, like, the Macri area. I can show you basically what, you know, what to expect. But yeah, in terms of everything else, uh, versatility is the one stat you want to get. Because obviously it's going to increase your damage, decrease your attack. So it decreases the amount of damage taken, increases your attack, should I say. So, this way, no. come at once! Oh, right. Okay, we can we can go there then. Right. So, yeah. Basically, don't fall in there. Right. So yeah, got all that. So yeah, in case you didn't see the moves I used, okay, um, basically to help decrease your like the amount of damage you're taking, there's three fund fundamental things you can use. So basically, you've got incarnation. Uh, yeah, increases your arm by 15%. So that and growl is actually very good, and it causes your mangle to hit up to three targets. Which, if you're doing AOE like tanking. Perfect. Second off, we've got survival instinct. So as you can see, that increase, say, reduces all damage taken by 63%. And you've got two charges as well. On top of that, you've got bark skin. Another one to like, prevent all damage taken by 20%. And last two other moves that are quite common for not your cooldowns is iron fur. And lastly, Mighty Bash. Was oh, I not Mighty Bash? Uh, where is it? Not Mighty Bash. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it mole? And yeah, those are basically what you like most of be using. In terms of everything else, though, um, just secondary stats will be versatility, and then it will be mastery, haste, and then crit. So this is information I got from Icy Veins. So 
great source, but again, it depends on your playstyle. Same thing I said in the Rogue video. So in terms of this, if you're looking for high defense and you want to do more raiding sort of thing, then you'll be looking at versatility. If you're looking to actually have a high damage output, you can go for versatility because it increases your damage. But I tend to go with crit in terms of that because it increases your chances on attacks and heals. So if you're healing yourself, even better. So what I'm going to do quickly from this point is jump straight into a dungeon and I'm going to show you how this setup actually works. So without further ado, I'm going to jump into that. But again, if you guys got any questions or if you want to see anything different in terms of like a, a different class, healing's perspective or anything like that, then please do leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to make that happen. Wow, it's taking too long. Right, so yeah, I'm going to fast forward from now until we get in the dungeon. Okay, and welcome. This is basically the dark fit, that nah, the dark thicket. Okay. Oh, I have time. many lucky dudes for you, like. You can keep your lucky dudes to yourself. Alright, here we go. So as you can see that, it's basically what I'd recommend in terms of like this setup, because this way you can actually go faster. Oh, are you serious? Okay, but yeah, in terms like that, that's just, this is exactly what Defilers. I mean. You can hear yourself so fast. So oh no! I don't I am the Defiler. A fluke, savor it and pray you do not face me next. They oh, we will are be more than prepared for your true power rests in the nightmare. And that's a little reference for Milliden. Why is that? I 
gonna turn this down a little bit so you guys can hear. There we go. There we are. So yeah, basically in terms of all like you are saying, if your playstyle is very similar to this, you like dragging from one to the next, one to the next, one to the next, then this is definitely one you would use. In terms of the abilities I'm using, uh, keep in mind, uh, artifact weapon will be changing because we get in the next expansion that will be removed. So this little thing I'm using, Rage of Sleeper, that will be removed. So there's no question about that. But at this moment, it's a very good ability to use. It increases basically like all your abilities. So prevents 25 damage all taken and reflecting damage. So this is something which is very handy. If you're up against like, it's got high attacking. Oh we did not just got it. Oh, that's right, people follow me. Follow me. Okay. Just hit it! There we go. In terms of tanking now, it's pretty simple. But again, like I said, if you're new to it, then just remember the abilities. And your healer will make sure that everyone has it fine. So yeah, already on second boss, three, two, one, everyone's in, cool. So yeah, if you've ever been in this dungeon before, you want to make sure you face this boss away from everyone. The reason being, you can use the moon, um, I feel like it's cool. Right, you use it, use it. If you end up throwing everything at that, here it is, Rebel Corruption. So that move will hit everyone. So make sure you actually move them out of the way. Ooh, and a master one. That's it, boys and girls. That is
two one and was here cool. What is this? Don't make me laugh. Well-earned victory. We must, however, stay vigilant. Deep inside the nightmare, Xavius remains unvanquished. The so, yeah. enemy you fought here is merely his shadow. So my shut up. Alright, so yeah, basically that's my interpretation of how I... Well, in my opinion, of how a druid guardian should be played. But if you guys got any comments or may if I've missed anything out or anything like that, or you feel as if it's not quite accurate, please state it down below in the in the actual comment section, and of course I can address it and review it. Until then, though, well, until next time, though, guys, you guys have a good day. This is Azer Gaming. Have a good day.